Hello friends, happy to see you again. Welcome to a new video. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to do this sick animation with that flintlock pistol 3D models. So without further ado, let's start. Before we start, I just wanted to inform you that I have released the PowerPoint Masterclass. The Masterclass will help you get noticed with your presentations, work less and impress your audience. We all know a beautiful presentation is a powerful tool for achieving your goals. On this PowerPoint Masterclass, I will cover everything you need to know about creating impactful presentations, whether you have a basic or medium PowerPoint level. This Masterclass is for you. So what are you waiting for to enroll? With that being said, let's go back to our tutorial. So first thing to do is to cover the background with a picture. It must be a picture that contain old ships like that. Something related to middle, middle age or something like that. And let's make it a little bit darker. So the titles will be much more visible and let's go to the website sketchfab where we're gonna find very good looking 3d models so here i'm looking for the flinting flintlock sorry colonial pistol 3D model so i found this beautiful one with very beautiful patterns and as always we're gonna download the 1k glb format so once the 3d model is downloaded so we're gonna grab it right away and put it to our powerpoint file so let's do that now we have our 3d model ready to be used on our presentation so let's choose a right position for that pistol and i think let's make it a little bit smaller like that maybe a little bit bigger so you need just to put it visible like that as long it's representing the pistol so now we're gonna insert the title so let's go back to our presentation go to insert text box and tap flintlock pistol so i'm gonna turn it into white and make it more bigger than that as we also saw on the other presentation I'm gonna take down the pistol or move it down and I'm gonna choose the font I'm gonna find it in the description box and you see that gap between flintlock and pistol so we're gonna decrease it by using bright slide tool you're gonna find it in the description box as well it's easy to be installed and that's it so now let's move the pistol to the front and voila okay let's just copy and paste the other subtitle from this presentation move it down a little bit and that's it about this slide so now i'm gonna duplicate this slide and then move the content out of frame like that so by the way the frame is the space uh, where is the background okay nice so so here i'm gonna display that 
but weird looking object it's looking like a pokemon <laughs> yeah and uh, i'm gonna do something special here so stick with me so let's take a screenshot of this slide which is the fastest way then let's copy that screenshot on illustrator we are not gonna do a big thing so don't panic i'm gonna just highlight that object that weird looking pokemon <laughs> yeah so to be able to do that uh, we're gonna use the pen tool and i'm gonna surround that object with the pen tool so to get uh, its shape perfect now we have finished with the outlining of the object so we're gonna take that vector or graphic uh, element then copy it directly to our presentation and we're gonna try to match the position So after we get the perfect position, I'm gonna apply the flash animation. So this animation I've made it by myself. So you will find it with the presentation when I share it with you. Yeah, you will find it ready, don't worry. So I'm gonna copy paste the other content, the title and the text from the first presentation so let's do it like that no need for the line so i'm gonna show you how to draw it easily so here's our title and the text and let's draw the line let's choose the free form and when we try to draw that straight line just click on shift or hold shift and this is the second slide i'm gonna apply the morph transition and roll the first test let's decrease the time and voila so for the other slides let's duplicate this one remove those title and text from the frame along with that line and the outlines then let's repeat the same process just highlight the object that you want to present in, in illustrator sorry then apply the flash animation and you are finished with that object so I'm gonna copy them straight from the first presentation to speed up the process. And no talking for me, now I'm gonna let you with the makeover of this slide. So now let's add the final touch of the final slide, which is the line. So after that, I'm gonna select all of the slides and apply the morph transition. So by doing that, just hit Control A and select morph. Now let's roll a test. Nice, nice. Now as you noticed, we need to animate those lines. So we need to add just a simple wipe animation and choose the direction according to the line this is for the second slide and after that let's apply the animation to the other slides or the other lines
and with that uh, this is the final result so thank you so much for watching all the video i hope you get something from this tutorial and you have everything you need on the description box ciao